We have heard and seen your candidate uh, saying that they are going to write off agricultural debt of the farmers. Uh, they are going to give a 20,000 rupee uh, allowance or subsidy to poor families. So we're writing off the debt of the farmers. Who's going to take that loss? How are you going to finance it? Is it the banks who are going to take the loss? Is it the government that is going to finance it? And what is the fiscal space you have the current context in order to finance such a gap? I mean, let's uh, understand here uh, really what's happening on the ground, Duminda, right? A lot of these poor folk, uh, once they basically finish the, the sowing, they go and uh, mortgage their tractor and the rotary because there is no way to continue with the rest of the, the cycle of their crop. That is the reality, right? And also, a lot of these MSME people, uh, you know, the government, after much uh, force brought on to it by Sajid Premadasa on the Parate matter, gave an extension till the uh, 15th of December. Now, what happens after the 15th of December? Let us be also conscious, Duminda, unlike most of you guys here, there are a lot of people who are unable to make ends meet. I mean, what is the point of a government if we can't look after the people? Right? That's what I ended by saying. We want to win for all, but that cannot come at the expense of our people not being able to make ends meet. You know, they cannot buy uh, a packet of uh, milk powder. I have seen in my electorate in Kote, mothers going to the small khade and purchasing, believe me, a tablespoon of uh, milk powder. One tablespoon of milk powder. Can you even imagine that? You CEOs? You can't. But that's the reality. So therefore, we have to make sure within our ability to make these people also feel first class citizens of this country. Not just third class citizens that get crumbs thrown to them. All that is true, we understand. Ah, listen. Yeah. Every proposal that Mr. Saji Premadasa has put forward has backing of revenue. We, I am telling you, there is not one cent that we will spend unless we can show you that revenue is coming. And it is not mine to believe. We will show you. Research companies in Sri Lanka have undertaken a lot of this type of you know, revenue shortfalls, where you can get revenue, how much it costs to, uh, uh, you know, spend on various programs. But Dr. Harsha, previously, successive governments have identified that they are going to bring revenue on paper. But how are you going to practically make it happen? Because there is a whole of a whole change you need to do to do that. How are you going to do it? One. Hey. hey. He clapped for an empty promise <laughs> because I didn't respond. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Anyway, no, it's, it's digitalization. It's digitalization. The fundamental of this change is through digitalization. If India can do it, if Adar does it, if you have the, the, the Pangwala selling uh, Bulatwit on a QR code, that revenue comes to mind. Currently, it doesn't, right? Even look at some people are talking about withholding tax on interest, okay? Think about it. How many people are evading? How many people are underreporting? So, is an opportunity to take at source something on the withholding tax on interest and fees without jeopardizing the actual burden? on the people, but increasing compliance. There are ways to do this, Duminda. Thank you, thank you, Harsha. Uh, 